everybody, my name is Mr Turner, I'm Head of Art at BT New School. Now if you're watching this, you're probably quite a creative artist yourself, so I just want to give you a sense of what we do at the Senior School, what people go on to do after beads as well, just to give you a sense of what hopefully you'll be doing pretty soon. We take art really seriously at beads, and the department's open on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday till 7 o'clock and we're also open on Saturday mornings so there's plenty of opportunity for you to come and be creative. We've got dark rooms, printing presses, computer rooms, drawing and painting studios so there really is loads of opportunity for you to get creative. Fine art. Now fine art is one of our four key areas that people do once they're at Beads and fine art is drawing and painting. So if you come to the senior school and you look on the walls, you'll see big paintings that are often by our fine art students. And here's a fine art student now working on a large piece. So it could be a still life, but it could be a portrait. And it's often big, could be drawn, but is often painted. Graphics. Now graphic design involves drawing and painting, but you might scan that work in and create something that advertises something or it has more of a, a direct purpose. So here's a student working in the art rooms but on their computer. And you might create an album cover. So this has got drawn elements in it, it's got typography but it's also been compiled on a computer. The image on the left, again the figure is drawn, the ring is drawn but the type is created on a computer brought together to have a advertise a piece of bespoke jewellery. And on the right, we've got quite a modern music festival poster. Again, it's got drawn and photographic elements, but a lot of it's been constructed on the computer. So photography, drawing, textures, typography, all come together to make a piece of graphic design. Ceramics. Ceramics is really our sculpture department. And there's Mr. Hammond in his ceramics room with a group in what are actually the old kennels. So when the school was a manor house, this is where they used to keep the dogs. But now it's where we have a ceramics department, our kilns, and it's very unusual for a school to have a ceramics department. Here's a stud student working on a really modernist piece. So people may make vessels, but often they're making something quite sculptural, as this student is doing here. Photography. We've got two dark rooms that use chemicals, enlargers, we can create our own cameras out of tins, we can develop our own film, but we've also got over 50 Macs, so we can do it the traditional way and straight up to date with modern technology. It can be quite straightforward photography, so these are beautiful photographs of animals on safari. These are a bit more unusual, they're quite local, so it's the Cookmere River, which is just down the road, but taken with a drone. So something that's quite familiar becomes quite unusual, taken from a different perspective. Or you can get really playful. So you can take a portrait, take a picture of some flowers, as this person did, and then from the power flowers, take the petals and create a pattern that goes around the portrait. So creating something that really, it, it could be a piece of graphics, a piece of photography, or even a piece of fine art, it's almost like the lines begin to blur, but this is definitely a, a piece of photography. Now in year nine, you do the carousel program, where you'll do seven sessions of one subject, so for example art, and then you'll move on to ceramics, and then you can move on to graphics, and you can move on to photography. So it all gives you a sense of what you'll be doing when you come to choose your GCSEs. GCSE, you can do photography within the timetable. You can do art, which again would incorporate fine art and graphics. We can do ceramics. And our GCSE students do really well. 96% A star to B over the past five years. It's a huge success rate. So often people walk away with a great grade, but much more importantly, they produce great work. And then they produce to the A level, which again you can do fine art painting. This is on a huge scale, about two meters by a meter and a half. Ceramics, again, that idea of 
going between different endorsements. So this is a piece of ceramics, but it's also a piece of fashion. So it's got a, like a dress-like quality to it. This is a sculpture that's in the island, in the middle of the lake. And the kets were made out of paper, but then this was made on a, a large scale out of worn metal that would weather. And he's going to change with time. A piece of graphics. Again, this is a great piece because it combines traditional drawing and printmaking. So the, the wooden type, dry point printing, photography, because it's based on his original primary image. But then all that's been printed, scanned into the computer and combined to create something that is at the same time retro, but quite modern. If you saw that in a gallery or in a cool shop, you'd actually, you wouldn't think that was a piece of schoolwork. You'd just think it was a great piece of art. And photography. And again, photography can be quite straightforward, but it can also be like this, quite playful and unusual and surreal. And again, at A-level, 98% of our students gain A star to B, which is one of the highest in the school. And actually across the country, they do really well. And a third of our students then go off to study an art-based subject at university. We also end the year with an end of year show celebrating the wonderful work that our talented students do. So it won't be too long until some of you will be presenting your brilliant work also in this way. And then, as I said, many of our students go off to study art-based subjects and they can do all sorts of things, from fashion design, become shop owners, product design, web designers, computer game design, theatre set design, be a painter, sculptor, director, architects, interior design, teacher, lecturer, comic book artist, makeup artist, creator, gallery owner, cinematographer, photojournalist, ceramicist, costume designer. In fact, this is a list just from this year of what our students have gone off to do. So architecture, interior design, product design, uh, fashion styling, fashion photography, all sorts of things that you can do with creative subjects. And in fact, I'm just going to end here. This is by an ex prep school student who came to Beads, was very talented when he arrived, but did brilliant work. And this is an image of St. Bede, done in pencil, again, based on one of his own images. And this is another prep school student, who again, this is her later work, but again, she went through the process. She did photography and graphics and fine art and produced wonderful work. And again, this is just another example of one of her wonderful pieces. So that idea, I may have shown you all this work, but one day this very much could be me showing your work to students coming to the senior school. So I suppose my final question to you is what are you going to be? So I'm really looking forward to seeing you in September and seeing the creativity you've got and the wonderful work you've produced. Thank you.